through some key concepts first. So first, uh, displacement represent by the symbol S, and then velocity is uh, V, and then acceleration is A. So for those of you who are familiar with physics kinematics, so these are quite similar to you. So let's see how we're going to include right, uh, differentiation and integration into this topic. So let's say from displacement, you want to go to velocity, you're going to do differentiate. And then from velocity to acceleration, you're going to differentiate as well. But from acceleration, go back to velocity, you have to integrate. And then velocity to displacement, you have to integrate again. So this is a very nice uh, mind map for you. So you can use this to solve most of the questions that you're going to encounter for this topic. Okay, so you can always come back to this slide and refresh your uh, understanding for this. All right, next one. So some other key points. So because when the question they phrase uh, in the questions, right? So there are some key words that you need to know how to change it into variables. For example, whenever they say what, when a particle starts from a fixed point, right? It means what? T equals zero, S equals zero. It means when T is zero initially, uh, okay, the, it starts from what? Zero meter. Okay, that's why it's S equals zero. Second one, find the initial velocity. Initial means what? When T is zero, you're supposed to find what is V. So it means you sub T equals zero into the velocity equation. Okay, instantaneously at rest. Okay, it means what? At rest means what? When v equals zero, means it's not moving. Velocity equals zero. Then you can find what's the timing or so on and so forth. Next one, when what? it returns to the starting point. Starting point means what? Your displacement is zero. Means when the particle actually make a U-turn and return to its starting original position, means s equals zero. Next one, when you want to find maximum or minimum displacement, right? Okay, velocity equals zero. Okay, because the rate of change of what? Displacement uh, at the minimum or at the maximum point, right? The V equals zero. Okay, so next one, similar. Maximum and minimum velocity. If you want to find maximum or minimum velocity, right? The acceleration equals zero. So with that, you can find the T and then you sub that into the velocity equation. Okay, so don't worry. Later, we'll do some question that uh, you understand better. And then, of course, when finding turning point. So turning point means what? Before you make a turning, right? Your velocity has to become zero before you can change the direction of the of the car or the, of the particle. Okay, so at turning point means v equals zero. This is very important, so you will use this concept uh, very often for finding turning point. Okay, when finding the distance traveled in n second, so what does it mean? So you need to find the location of the particle when what t equals to n second. What is the displacement? And then t equals to n minus one. What is the displacement? Then you subtract these two value of displacement to find the distance travel. Uh, let's look at one example. Okay, so for example, the question asking you, uh, find the distance travel in the second second. So when t goes to two, you can figure out your s will be thirty meter. Then when t goes to one, your s will be twenty five meter. So what's the distance travel from one second to two second? So you just minus away thirty minus twenty five, you get five meter. So that is how you find this one, okay? Because sometimes the question they will ask you to figure out this kind of questions, okay? Next, next one. Okay, sometimes or uh, usually for the last part of the question in kinematics, right? They will ask you to find total distance or average speed. So total distance, right? Uh, you need to find some important uh points first, okay? You need to find the location of the particle at what? Okay, t equals zero. What is your s? Okay, what is your displacement? Okay. And then t equals to uh, the first turning point, what's your displacement again? And then if t equals to the second turning point, what's your displacement? Depending how many turning points you have. Usually there will be one. Maximum there will be like two, two turning points. Okay. And then lastly, t equals to the ending time. Okay, so what is your displacement? Okay. So usually they'll ask you like find the total distance travel from what? Uh, zero to five seconds, let's say. Zero to five seconds. So in between zero to five seconds, there are maybe like two turning points. When t equals to one or t equals to three, there's a turning point. So you have to find all these locations. All these are your like critical points. Okay, starting point, ending point, and your turning point. Okay. Then with that, then you will proceed on to draw your distance line. So later on we will uh, demo how to do your distance line later on. Okay. So that's all for your key uh, key points. Now we'll move on to the real uh, first example. So a particle P starts from a point A and move in a straight line so that after t second, right, passing through the fixed point, okay, the displacement is what? S equals to t cubed minus 6t squared plus 9t plus 22. So the question, find the distance between A and O, 
and then find the values of t when the particle is at rest and next find the total distance traveled by the particle between 0 and 5 seconds okay so the equation is what s goes to t cubed minus 6 t squared plus 90 plus 22 so when t is 0 so you can sub it in okay so you'll get 22 meter so the distance between a and o will be just this 22 meter next one find the values of t when it's at rest okay at rest means v equals zero okay but your displacement equation is what uh given in the question you need to get a v right you need to what differentiate vs over dt okay differentiate displacement you get your velocity so you can sub in your displacement t cubed minus 6 t squared plus 9 t plus 22 so yeah you differentiate it you should get 3 t squared minus 12 t plus 9 for those students who need help for differentiation just let me know in the comment then i will do a video on differentiation okay so with this then at rest means what v equals zero you sub that in okay or before that you can take out uh, three as the common factor you get t square minus four t plus three okay so it's a good habit to take out the three as a common factor so next when v is zero okay because at rest huh? so v equals zero you sub that into here you get this then you can bring the 3 over and then factorize the equation, quadratic equation at the same time. You get t minus 3, t minus 1. Next, t equals will be 1 or 3 seconds. Okay, so at t equals 1 or t equals 3, right, the object will be at rest, not moving at all. Okay, next one, part C. Find the total distance travel between 0 and 5 seconds. So when t equals 0, s equals to 22 meter. This will be obtained from your part A answer. Then t equals to 1. Okay, so take note, this is your first turning point. The particle will actually make a turning point when t goes to 1. So you sum in 1 into your displacement equation, you will get 26 meter. Alright? Then, second turning point, t goes to 3 seconds. Okay, do the same thing. You should get 22 meter here. Then lastly, t goes to 5. Okay, your ending point, 5 seconds. So do the same thing, you will get 42 meter. So you have 22, 26, 22, and 42. So with all these numbers, okay, you can draw your distance line now. So this is how it's going to look like. From t goes to 0 to t goes to 1, from 22 to 26 meter. Then from t goes to 1 to 3, it's travel 4 meter. Then when 3 seconds to 5 seconds, you will travel from 22 to 42. So this is the total distance. From 0 to 1 is 4 meter. From 1 to 3 seconds, another 4 meter. And from 3 to 5 seconds is... 20 meter okay 42 minus 22 you get 20 so total is 28 meter okay moving on question two a particle p move in a straight line through a fixed point okay so the velocity equation is v equals to 60 square minus 8t plus 2 and then this is an important piece of information when t is zero the displacement is actually minus one meter so it actually started from minus 1 meter, not from 0 meter. So you have to be careful about this, okay? And then you need to find acceleration when t is 3. And then find the values of t when it's at rest. And then the respective displacement. And of course, part C, the total distance travel during the first 2 seconds. Alright, let's look at the part A first. Find the acceleration. So they give us velocity equation. 6t squared minus 8t plus 2. So how do you find acceleration? You need to differentiate. So a equals to dv over dt. Okay, sum in your velocity equation, 6t squared minus 8t plus 2. So you're going to differentiate it, you get 12t minus 8. Okay, then now, sum in, t goes to 3. When t goes to 3, sum inside your formula, you get a equals to what? 12 times 3 minus 8. Then you get 28 meter per second square. So just remember to write down your units, meter per second square, that's for acceleration. Alright, moving on, part D. Find the values of t when the particle is at rest. Okay, at rest means v is zero. Okay, so this is your velocity equation. When at rest, v goes zero, sub it in. You get 6t squared minus 8t plus 2. Okay, try to reduce it. You get 3t squared minus 4t plus 1. It's always a good habit to reduce. Okay, so the smaller the number, less likely to make careless mistakes. Okay, then you factorize it. You get 3t minus 1, t minus 1. Then t will be one third or one second. Okay, then don't forget, we still need to find the displacement at these two timing. So from velocity, how do you get your displacement? You need to integrate, okay? S equals to integrate V dt. Sum in your velocity, 
60 squared minus 80 plus 2. Then you will do your integration here. Okay? So those students who need help, uh, you can let me know. Uh, I'll do a video on integration. So after integration, you should get 60 cubed over 3 minus 40 squared plus 2t plus c. Okay? So don't forget your plus c whenever you do your integration. Okay, so now you can use the information provided in the question to figure out what is the plus c. So when t is 0, s equals negative 1. Okay, so this information is obtained from the question itself. Sub it in, you will figure out your c is actually negative 1. Then with this, you sub it into your displacement. This is the equation you're going to use from now on. s equals to 2t cubed minus 4t squared plus 2t minus 1. Okay, then with this equation, then t is to 1 third. Okay, sub it in, your displacement you get minus 19 over 27 meter. Then when t goes to 1, sub it in as well, you'll get minus 1 meter. Okay, that's all. But C, the total distance traveled by the particle in the first 2 seconds. Okay. So when t goes to 0, s equals to negative 1 meter. Okay. Then when t goes to 1 over 3, this one is your first turning point, s equals to minus 19 over 27 meter. This is your part B answer. Okay. Then when t equals to 1, this is your second turning point, x equals to negative 1 meter. And of course, lastly, the ending point, when t equals to 2 seconds, okay, sub into your displacement equation, you should get 3 meter. Okay, so with all this data, minus 1 meter, minus 19 over 27 meter, minus 1 meter, and 3 meter, you can draw your distance line. So how it's going to look like? So it's going to look like this, okay? From 0 to 1 third, make a turning point, then to 1 second, you make a turning point again, then to 2 seconds, okay? So, total distance will be like 8 over 27. How you get 8 over 27? From 0 to 1 third second, you travel 8 over 27. From 1 third to 1 second, you travel another 8 over 27 meter. Then from 1 second to 2 second, you travel 4 meter. So in total is 4, 16 over 27 meter. So remember to leave a mixed number. No improper fraction, okay? Improper fractions are not allowed for final answer. Okay, moving on, last question. So, same thing. Da, da, da. Okay, acceleration. A equals to k minus 2t. So, they start with an acceleration equation. Okay, they give you some information here. When it passes O, means when t is 0, your v is 12. And then it comes to at rest, means v is 0 when t is 6 seconds. So, you have two pieces of information. You can use it later on. Okay, so find k, find distance OA and maximum velocity, and of course, uh, average speed during the first 10 seconds. Let's look at the first one. How you find the value of k? So, a equals to k minus 2t, okay? To use the information velocity information, right, you need to get velocity equation first. So, how to get velocity? You need to integrate, okay? V equals to integrate a dt. Sub in your a, okay? Then, you can integrate it. You should get kt minus 2t squared plus c. Okay, so don't forget our plus c again. Then you can use the information, okay, in the question. When t equals 0, v is 12. So you sub it in here, you'll figure out your c is 12. Okay, so from now on, your velocity equals to kt minus 2t squared plus 12. The k is still there, okay? But now you can use the second piece of information. When t is 6 seconds, v is 0, okay? Sub it into here to figure out what's your k value. So 0 equals to 6k minus 36 plus 12. Okay, simplify it, you get your k equals to 4. Okay, so part A done. k is 4. Distance OA. So your velocity is what? 4t minus t squared plus 12. Okay, so it's a good habit to rearrange them to minus t squared plus 4t plus 12. So t squared, then t, then the constant. Okay, so from velocity, you want to go to distance or displacement, you need to integrate. Okay, so displacement equals to integrate v dt. So you sum in your formula. Minus t squared plus 4t plus 12. After integration, you should get what? Minus t cubed over 3 plus 2t squared plus 12t plus c. Don't forget the plus c. It's worth one mark. And after that, use the information provided. When t is 0, s is 0. Okay, start from rest. Okay, at the starting point, you start from the fixed point. So c equals 0 when you sum inside here. Okay, then with that, your s equals to what? Minus t cubed over 3 plus 2t squared plus 12t. Okay, so from now on, this is the displacement you use. Okay, so when the find the distance OA. A is what? 6 seconds. So when t goes 6 seconds, you sum inside here. Okay, all the t replaced by 6, and you should get 72 meter.
Okay. But see, find the maximum velocity. Okay. So A equals to what? 4 minus 2T. So for maximum velocity, so remember your A must be 0. So this is mentioned in the key point. Okay. So you sum it in, you figure out your T is actually 2 seconds. Okay. So not yet done. When T goes to 2 seconds, you're going to sub that into your velocity equation. Okay. So when T is 2, V equals to what? Sum in your 2 seconds into your velocity equation. And you should get minus 16 meter per second. So this is your maximum velocity. Okay. 16 meter per second. Alright. Then last one. Find the average speed of the particle during the first 10 seconds. So when T is 0, S is 0. Okay. So this is mentioned in the uh, question. Then when T goes 6 seconds, S equals to 72 meter. So this is one of the turning points, which we found in part C. Then T goes 10 seconds, the ending point. So sub it in, in your displacement equation, you should get minus 40 over 3 meter. So with these three values, 0, 72, and negative 40 over 3, you can draw your distance line. So from 0, you go to 72 meter, and then you make a U-turn until minus 40 over 3. Okay, so total distance will be um, 72 plus 72, then here is uh, 40 over 3. So add up will be 472 over 3 meter. Okay, not yet done. Okay, you are supposed to find average speed. So average speed equals to total distance over total time. So throw in all your value. Total distance is 472 over 3. Total times is 10 seconds. So you will get uh, in decimal 15.7 meter per second 3 SF. Okay. That's all. Okay. So if you need more practice question uh, on this topic, just let us know in the comment. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Alright. Thanks. Bye.